Hello Africa, hello Cameroon, thank you guys so very much for joining me on this other edition of your favorite infotainment show, How Time JC. Hope you guys are doing fine and ready to be entertained and informed. Let's get started with the first segment of this program, which is the weekly news roundup, and this are the headlines. A 16 years old Cameroonian female student commits suicide with a gun after being scolded at by her mother. Cameroonian comedian Old Pancho shades all music producers for charging upcoming artists huge sums of money. Two female students fight dirty at the University of Boya because of a man. May she bless all those criticizing her album without even having to listen to it. US based Cameroonian artist and entrepreneur Densha shakes all African artists who collaborated with Beyonce without charging her a single dollar. Guys, that's what we have for the headlines. The details coming up in a bit. Stick around, guys. I'll be right back. Pour participer au Captain Bongo Bongo Challenge, constitue votre équipe de trois personnes âgées de 21 ans et plus, un captain et deux autres membres du groupe. Reprenez la chorégraphie du refrain de Bongo Bongo à la fin de votre reprise. Posez tous comme Captain Morgan avec le pied gauche suspendu. Le captain devra publier votre vidéo sur la page Facebook de l'île de l'Islameuse. Ajoutez les hashtags Captain Morgan, Bongo Bongo, Captain Bongo, Captain Slam. Nous primerons les 75 groupes ayant reçu le plus grand nombre de mentions j'aime. Tous les gagnants recevront un bon d'achat de 50 000 francs CFA. Soyez créatifs. Bon chance. A 16 years old Lower Six student of Lycée et Duval here in Douala, Cameroon, identified as Colonel Njoksesh's daughter, shot herself dead because her mother scolded at her. What actually happened? Apparently, she was used to cooking food for her boyfriend every time her mother was not around. So on this fateful day, her mother went out and unfortunately for the young girl, her mother came back unannounced just to surprise her daughter in the kitchen cooking food. Furious, because that was quite strange to the mom, she asked her daughter what was happening and the daughter said she was preparing food for her boyfriend and very angry about that, her mother started shouting at her, she scolded at her bitterly for doing such and the girl being so soft and I don't know if she's well educated or what she went straight to her parents room locked up herself and after some seconds she took her dad's gun and shot herself man she pulled the trigger what actually was the cause of such because of love and just because her mother reprimanded her for cooking food for her boyfriend wow what's happening to this generation i mean like it's not the, it's not the first time that a teenager is being uh, reported of committing suicide and on most cases it do happen because they have either failed or an exam or any other reason but not because your mother is scolding at you man just simple scolding and you go straight to the room and you shoot yourself that's quite strange. I don't actually know what's happening to this generation. Who should be blamed for this? The daughter or the parents? Why was it even, first of all, very easy for the daughter to have access to her dad's gun, man? Isn't that something that's supposed to be kept far, far away from the reach of children? Or why would a 16 years old girl have a boyfriend, first of all? Isn't that the age at which uh, children are supposed to focus only on their studies? Unfortunately, the worst happened for her with this life that is very beautiful like this. You just commit suicide just like that because the score that at you. This is surely an algebra girl, guys. To all the young ones watching me presently, be very, very careful about life. If you're living under your parents, guys, stick to what they tell you because they definitely know best what is good for you and may her soul rest in peace still talking about love and boyfriend issues men two grown female students for the hell out of themselves at the boya university campus just because of a man seriously just because of the other gender you girls are disgracing and embarrassing yourselves like that publicly do not ask me who took who's boyfriend here or who has been cooking for who here. I don't have answers for such questions, but I have this for you to watch. This is becoming rampant and 
ridiculous. If a man is going in for two ladies, he should definitely be the one attacked here, not the other way around. Girls should get that. If you find out that your man is cheating on you with another girl, go after him. Leave the girl alone. Like, why would you attack someone's daughter just because you found out that you both are dating the same man? That's uncalled for going on with fights disgracing yourselves and embarrassing each other in those streets like that is really really uncalled for girls you have to respect yourselves very very well because when you fight for men all they do is sit back and mock at you yeah maybe you don't know that they sit back and they mock at you very 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 well what's even crazy about this is that the man is not even married to any of the girls and there is no guarantee that he's going to take any of them as wife but yet they are fighting and disgracing themselves because of him girls you have to wise up and stop doing those shit for men who even haven't proposed to you according to all country the charges it on upcoming artists are heavy and frustrating especially for you to want to take music as a career and make a lively income out of it he says you ask some people make it pay you one million for one audio song and two million for video saying that the song they want to take play and for judgment day for heaven stop killing the industry i won't address this again will not stop immediately all punch is one of the fearless comedians we have in cameroon who is never afraid to say things the way they are he's the one behind the 80 versus 20 slogan advocating that 80 percent of cameroonian songs should be played in cameroon versus 20 percent of foreign music we have directors who make video for 10 to 20 million in other countries but here in cameroon i think the highest amount is 5 million and it is dr king who takes such and besides Dr. K, we have um, video directors like Ada Akenji and Mr. Adrenaline who take less. I personally think that music is a huge business. For any upcoming artist who wants to make it a career, may you have to work your ass off, make some real money before indulging in music. The main reason producers charge a lot, especially video directors, it's because they work as a whole team and at the end of the day they have bills to pay and they have some money to save. So you don't expect them to make less than what is needed actually to run their business. So if you want to make music as a whole career man, work some money or you either go in for upcoming music producers or video directors and progressively you will one day get there and decide when a song is good it is definitely good like they say some way go blow go blow whether a professional or an amateur shooter Cameroonian artist Meshi is very very angry with all those criticizing her first debut studio album titled For My Hand released a couple of days ago for those same things without even having listened to the album before Meshi is definitely very angry with you it's a 21 tracks album embodied with some collaborations the album was released a couple of days ago and people are saying a lot of whole shitty stuff about it so I'm complaining that the track list is too long for an artist like Meshi who according to them is not well known seriously you guys think Meshi is an upcoming artist man no 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 Meshi has been in this game for a long time now and it's very reasonable for her to drop an album if she wants so you saying shit about her album this is actually what she has to say no one has the right to make comments on my album without listening to it and also don't come and try to tell me i wasn't ready to release an album you haven't even listened to it in this industry people choose what to push and what not to and that's cool it's your right and it's also mine to do whatever the hell i want between people start careers with albums you are better embrace the practice as such yes you all have to embrace the practice asap there's a part she compares herself with jesus saying that even jesus was not accepted by all meaning who is she if you guys are criticizing her she's calling so very hard at bloggers for choosing to promote the soya issue rather than her album yeah if you don't know the soya issue may she was sent ten thousand francs by a man for a date and she did not honor that day rather she took the ten thousand francs and bought soya wheat yeah that's the whole story behind the soya issue 
Man, why are you guys not promoting Meshi's album? For my hand, it's a great album. The album is available on Ox Place, uh, which is a Cameroonian streaming platform. And it's 500 francs for an album. So forget about the soya issue and promote the album for my hand. US-based Cameroonian artist and entrepreneur Ben Shad got the internet talking this week. She blessed all the African artists who featured on Beyonce's album The Lion King without charging her a single dollar, which according to her is totally unacceptable. What's that supposed to mean? Is she actually saying that for an African artist to collaborate with a world-renowned artist, he or she has to charge them? Seriously? I don't think that is what she meant. Actually, Densha is saying that if an African artist is going in for a collaboration with an international artist, if it is for free, they want to come back at home, they should definitely do collaborations with upcoming artists too for free so that everybody can grow in the industry. While saying this, she did not call names, but it's definitely clear that she was talking about Whiskey or Shatawale, Bonaboy, Salatia, and all the artists who featured on Beyonce's album. This showbiz stuff is really complicated. Now, let me tell you one very important thing about showbiz that you don't know, and that I think you should probably know. Showbiz actually works like this. Are you guys actually waiting on me to tell you something very important about showbiz that you don't know? Well, we're probably going to talk about that on our next episode. For now, we are done with our weekly news roundup, guys. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment section about all the gifs we had today on the first segment of this show. Away from that, let's dive straight into something else. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. I'm giving you just a few seconds for that. Subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you very much for the love. Top 10 countdown of the week coming up right away. Our number 10 video of the week is this beautiful smashing collab song from Moto Banga featuring Dab Blink and J. Chris. The song is titled Power. Coming up at the ninth position, we have this beautiful song from upcoming artist Leah. The song is titled Pay My Money. Pay my money. He must to pay my money today, today. He should do it a fine boy thing them for ya. Ha. No bring them for ya. I know go push them for ya. Telling me. At the eighth position, we have Gandala by Cameroonian artist Mr. Jules. Show me that dollar. If you want my money, you must give me that dollar. Shake that bum bum shake, shake that bum bum, shake that bum bum shake, shake that bum bum. Pepe them, pepe them, pepe them. Coming up at the seventh position, we have West Nice with this beautiful song titled "Dear Mama," a dedication to his mother. You go out to struggle for keep money, but problem no go let you keep on to bolo, to bolo, to bolo, man. Our number six video of the week is this beautiful collab song from Cameroonian artist Wax Day and Big G Baba. The song is titled What Can You Learn From This? Shut up. So why they know the share them? Grang they say the money said they for process. When I whoop they grang them. No be another function in grang them. Mr. Arrogant, what can you learn? Shattered by Cameroonian artist Shua occupies the fifth position of our top 10 countdown this week. 
ça brille chez tout le monde Et quand il pleut, c'est partout Seasons come and seasons go Position we have by Canadian artist guys. Pull up in a Benz kind guys. Pull up, pull up, Lamborghini kind of guy. She says she like bad guy. Pull up in a range kind of guys. Pull up in a Benz kind guys. Pull up in a after 10 years away from the musical scene, Canadian gospel sensation Elizabeth Taker occupies the third position with this song titled Record of Life. The record of your life. We'll be played on that day The things we do on that God is recording them So the record of our lives Mayo jaune by Cameroonian rapper Mix takes the second position Mayo jaune, Mayo jaune Je m'agite qui a qui Mayo jaune, Mayo jaune Je les gèle même à 10 Mayo jaune, Mayo jaune Je m'agite qui a qui Mayo jaune, Mayo jaune Mola ne m'embrouille pas paix même moi Mola ne m'embrouille pas paix même moi Mola ne m'embrouille pas paix même moi of the week is this beautiful smashing song from Cameroonian artist Lacor. The song is titled Magnet and it's among the beautiful soundtracks for the movie Coming to America to watch and enjoy. If you feel like it's okay, okay baby. breaks down in tears after meeting Stanley Eno who is her idol for the first time Stanley Eno was on stage performing when this young lady bashed into him shedding hot tears out of emotion saying that Stanley Eno is her favorite artist according to her King Kong is the greatest of artists what would be your reaction if you meet your favorite artist in person especially your favorite Cameroonian artist thank you very much guys for watching close up for today's edition but before we go the new band music label is set to release new merchandise which are soft white leather sneakers hope the moko gang is ready for it don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our channel hit the notification button too i'll be right back next week with so much more for more information on the cameroon entertainment for us on 237 showbiz we are available on facebook Twitter, Instagram, and we are very much active on our website. See you guys next week.